Welcome to week two of Cana 90. How are you doing? How are, how are the commitments? You know, the whole point of Cana 90 is for you to dive more deeply um, into your vocation, the vocation of being a mom and a dad, a husband and a wife. Mm -hmm. And these commitments of prayer, fasting, and mercy are supposed to be lived out from your home and from there to flow out. But hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you've made some commitments that are, are beginning to see some change in your marriage and in your family life. So in our video this week, just like in every other week, we want to keep you inspired. We want to keep you inspired and motivated to keep those commitments. So we're going to go into the Word of God and say, okay, let's let, let's let God's Word inspire us. We're going to go back to the beginning, to Genesis, to the first marriage, first marriage of Adam and Eve. And remember that when man and woman were created, this is the original unity. This is when they were perfectly united. They were perfectly complementary. That's how they were created. They had a covenant between them and God. This, this was the first right. marriage, which was so important for us to remember that this is how we were created. We were created, a man and woman, to be perfectly complementary to each other. So where does the struggle come from? The struggle really comes from our sinfulness. And, and this is where we need God to recover that original unity between man and woman. And so talking about the whole idea of Adam and Eve um, reminds us of a, of a conversation we had with this rabbi and his wife. Um, and he shared with us that even Hebrew words and letters have deep meaning uh, for the Jewish people. And the Hebrew word for man and woman illustrate how God is present in our marriage. So uh, please forgive my Hebrew pronunciations here. <laughs> and and they, they read from right to left. Uh, but the, the word for man is ish, and it's uh, spelt elef, yod, and shen, okay? And the word for woman, similarly, is isha, elef, shen, and he. So, so notice that there are two letters that are the same in each of these words, but one is different. And if you have those two ones that are different, the yod and the he, guess what yod and he spell? They spell uh, the Hebrew word for God, Yahweh. So, so this is um, man and woman together, right. their complementarity reflect God, that they see it in both of them together. But if you take out those letters that spell God, mm. what is left in both man and woman, that word, it's the same word, and it's the word for fire. Now, this isn't a fire like a nice little warm campfire. This is a fire that means destruction, and, and you know everything is gonna be teared apart. And that's what we do when we take God out of our relationship. Right. So again, when you have man and woman working together, you reflect God. When you remove God from your relationship, you, you bring fire and destruction. So we need to recognize that we need each other, but we also need God, because you made a covenant mm -hmm. That covenant is between you and your spouse, but also God. And we're going to reflect him more fully mm -hmm. when we're embracing that unity that God has called us to. Because really, as much as we try to overcome our own sinfulness and get back to that original unity, yeah. we can't do it. We can't do it on our own. Right. We need the Lord's grace. We need him to help us. And this is where our commitments of prayer come in, right? right. And so this week, really take ownership of the ways in which you've not been united to your mm -hmm. spouse in the ways in which you are not laying down your life for them. Where do you need to grow? Where do you need to do better? Where do you really need to, to double down on <laughs> spending time with them, on saying no to yourself and yes to them? And also, I think it's really important for us to look at the other person and really see their giftedness and see how they do compliment you. And that leads to a deeper gratefulness, really. Right, and that's that's the last thing we want to challenge you to do this week is to create a, a list, a gratitude list about your spouse, right? And so how can we be grateful? Let's think about that and let's work that into our, our time this week. And again, in our email, you'll see uh, podcasts that we recommend, uh, reflections for each day and activities for the weekend. Um, but this is Cana 90. Let us begin again. <laughs>